up, and we're also going to add a blank filter to that, and we're going to change that to a one to four. And the reason for that is because if you have the both uh, clips blinking at one to three, it's not going to make any difference at all because they're going to be blinking on and off at the same time. Um, what this does, this gives us now three layers, three levels of color. It gives us the overly maxed out color, the complete black, and then like the kind of um, the twilight ish. <laughs> the twilight is the darker room. So you have uh, light, dark, full black. Now I know, of course, I said this isn't realistic because in a real strobe light you have two modes. You have strobe light on, strobe light off, nothing else. But um, you'll see it makes a big difference uh, adding three layers digitally, digitally, three layers of color digitally. Digi say digitally. Oh god, I gotta learn English, man. Um, and I'm just gonna drop some music on this. Uh, boom, boom. And uh, let's render this again. Okay, let's take a look. A lot better, if you ask me. I mean, there is a huge difference between this. And this. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It's just, okay. Now, that was the first part of the tutorial. This was just basic strobe light. But, um, for those pros of you, pros out there that want to take this way more in depth, stay with me because we are going to be, that sounded so creepy. Sorry, I'm never going to say that again. Uh, just stick around and, um, we're going to get into in depth. So, imagine you want to add a strobe light. Imagine you want to have the party shot from the outside. Which looks like this. Only problem is, if you do what we just did, you're going to have this outside light blinking too. Not good because that just makes it look weird. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate that lower footage for now. We're just going to leave it. I'm not going to dump it on top yet. Or you're going to just leave it side by side for now. Alrighty, so now after you've duplicated this, you're going to go into your original base footage. Um, double click to put that into the canvas. Uh, hit C for crop and you're going to crop down to the parts of the frame that you don't want to have strobing. So this. In this case, the light, because the light's not going to be strobing, <clears throat> just because the inside is strobing. Now you're going to go to the outside and do the exact opposite. Double click and hit C for crop and cut it down to, excuse me, cut it down to the window. What you, what you don't want to do, you don't want to cut it all the way to the window. I will explain in a minute because we will be also creating a light leak. We're going to make it look like light and the strobe light is leaking out onto the patio, which is realistic. Like... If you have a strobe light inside, it's not just going to stay inside the window. It's obviously going to come out, so we're going to work on that too. Um, now you're going to dump that on top, and just so I can show you guys the elements here, we have um, we have the light, which we can turn on and off, and we have the window. So we have our two elements, and here you can, you, you can reposition if you want. You can add a second light just by uh, duplicating the footage of the light, um, dumping that on top, and making a second light, you know, play around with it, guys. I mean, this is this is your your video, so you guys can really, you know, I'm just going to undo all that. Um, you can, uh, yeah, fill around, build up your scene. I mean, especially in this case, because it's so dark, so you don't have to worry about any, like, masking inconsistencies or whatever. You can really just plow around, <clears throat> play around, and um, do whatever you want. So uh, now that we have that, we're going to duplicate the cut-down window footage, and put that on top again. So we have three layers now. Um, we're going to do this now. From here on, it's going to be the exact same thing as we did earlier. We're going to take the little upper footage and we're going to color correct it to max out the colors. And I'm actually just going to take the color correction and the blink from a previous example um, and paste that there. What you need, you can select both, right click, copy, and command V to paste, and I'm going to do the exact opposite with the middle footage, um, middle layer, but this time I'm obviously not going to copy the effects of the upper clip, but I'm going to copy the effects of the lower clip, so the darker colors. Right click, copy, and paste, and actually I was just seeing, noticing here, I forgot to change that, it's one to four, it should be, there we go. All right, so now once we've done that, you guys can see we have now, we, are, we have our three different blink types, we have light, and, full off and we have that semi middle thing which mm, they seem to like be changing in a apparently random matter. Now the reason why we left the space around the window is because of this. So here. 
if we go to filters and we max out those colors even more, you guys can see it leaves a pretty ugly uh, square. Um, to make that turn that square into a simple light leak, and I'm just actually going to bring that back so it's not that exaggerated. To turn that square into a simple light leak, you pretty much just double click, um, go to motion crop, and edge feather. And you're going to bring the edge feather uh, up to like 49%, 50%, and see then now it just looks like it's light coming out of the uh, window. You can you can go even more. I wouldn't go that far that it, that it starts to like add a vignette effect to the window. Um, but, uh, yeah, that looks about good. That looks like it's glowing. And you can do the same thing to lower footage, but it won't even make a difference. So, or whatever, you know, 45%. All right, now let's add some music to this so you guys can get the full picture. Um, oh, and I think it goes without, without saying, feel free to take your base footage too, so just the light, and add a color corrector to that. Um, so you can, you know, add some atmosphere. For example, if you want to make the light like green, feel free to do that. Or if you want to make it blue, um, you can do that. <laughs> you can do that too. <laughs> blue also works. Um, you know, play around with the saturation um, because this is this is the cool thing. Now that you've like cut up your different elements, you can really just color correct each each element without applying that effect to the whole to the whole frame. And the only thing you don't want to do, you don't want to be playing around touching the blacks because that's going to make it look like that. Well, not, not really. It doesn't look really realistic, doesn't it? <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's what we've got right now. So while this is rendering, let's take some time and reflect about our lives. You know, people, I tell, I'm telling you, today has been such a bad day. I'm not even kidding you guys. It's, today sucks. See, this is my way of dealing with things, just like through tutorials. Oh, God damn. Great, now that that's done, uh, let's look at our final thing. One more time, this was the original footage. And this has been our, this is our color correction footage, color corrected footage. Huge difference, if you ask me. So thanks so much for sticking around, guys, and for watching this. Uh, this was Nick Hansbauer, aka King of Clubs. Signing off. Feel free to follow me on Twitter. That's at Nick H Yeah, or email me. Uh, you know, I, if you have questions, I try to get back as soon as possible. I really don't even get that much mail, so I'm email me, so I don't feel so alone in today's society. No, I was kidding. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. And really, this was just to inspire you guys or to uh, give you a baseline. Uh, go from here. This really was far from perfect, so make it your own, guys. Play around, uh, show me what you got, and I will see you uh, for the next tutorial. Thanks so much. Boom. Ugh, I don't even I don't even know why I do that with the lights. I have no I have no life at all. Got to get a grip on this.